We, oh, good evening, <laughs> and welcome to Freedom is a Constant Struggle with your host, Kilu Nyasha, and uh, Arnel Valle uh, is board outing for me tonight, and uh, I'm a little discombobulated because uh, of what's been happening. Last week, the Bay Area lost two beloved community icons to illness. Kamal Setu, jazz musician, composer, poet, scholar, father, and grandfather, and Javad Jahi, teacher, poet, and activist, who was one of our strongest leaders in the fight to free the SF-8, and, those, and whose premature death at 32 has shocked the movement. My sincere condolences to the families of Kamal and Javad. Baba Kamal's, Kamal's home-going celebration will be held on Saturday, December 5th at 2 p.m. at Wose Community Church, 8924 Holly Street, Oakland, California, 94621. Unfortunately, it's not wheelchair accessible. A celebration of Javad's life will take place on Sunday at 4 p.m. East Bay Church of Religious Science, 4130 Telegraph Avenue, in Oakland. Long live the spirit of Javad and Kamal, and long live the spirit of revolutionary martyr Fred Hampton, who uh, was martyred on December 4th, and this is the 40th anniversary of the pre-dawn murders of Black Panther Party leaders Fred Hampton and Mark Clark by Chicago police in 1969. A new book, The Assassination of Fred Hampton, how the FBI and the Chicago Police Murdered a Black Panther by Jeff Haas describes this premeditated massacre. Our guest, <clears throat> Attorney Dennis Cunningham, established the People's Law Office in Chicago from which he and young attorney Haas conducted a landmark civil rights case ultimately winning a large settlement for the fam Panthers' families, although Chicago's killer cops were never criminally charged. Dennis continued doing civil rights cases over these 40 years during which he also worked on the long-running class action for the prisoners who rebelled and survived the massacre at New York's Attica State Prison in 1971 and the Earth First case resulting from the 1990 bombing of Judy Barry and Daryl Cherney in Oakland among many other defenses of protesters and victims of police br misconduct, brutality, and or murder. Without further ado, m welcome, my <laughs> Dennis, welcome back to SF Live. It's so good to have you back. Thank you. I'm always glad to come here. Yes. This is the best. Yes, Dennis. Good, good. And uh, you are a real trooper. You've been doing it for over 40 years. And um, let's start off with the People's Law Office and how you founded that along with the other attorneys. Okay, the, I mean, it really was, uh, it was something we were talking about in a kind of a general way in the, toward the end of 1968. And then we met Fred Hampton and Bobby Rush. And, uh, and I, I remember coming back to the next meeting we were having this little group that was talking about starting the office say well if we do start one we can get the panthers as our clients and so everybody said okay let's go <laughs> all right you know and that's that's really where it started that was almost a year before fred was killed but it, you know in the atmosphere then and the kind of level of conflict between the panthers and the police uh, we were busy the whole year I'm even sure. before oh I'm the sure raid. because um, you know I was a panther in New Haven and panthers were getting um, busted left and right just for selling the newspaper yes yes and any kind of excuse any excuse was better I mean, than they, they they definitely uh, the, the, the challenge the gauntlet they threw down to the police from coast to coast was taken up from coast to coast and, exactly. and you know they, they, they got as good as they gave, for sure. Now let's talk about um, Jeff Haas' book, The Assassination of Fred Hampton. Yes. Well, it's, it's of the complete story. 
and he's been working on it for three or four years and he it started out really uh, as a memoir and but the deeper he got into it the more uh, complete the story had to be and finally uh, well not finally but along the way he got back into the transcript of the trial the trial of the, in the civil case in 1976-77 lasted for 18 months Wow. So the transcript was 37,000 pages. Mm. And he read the whole thing and got, you know, the very exact words of the parts that he talks about in the book and was able to really focus on the story. I mean, there's it's a double story. It's the story of the raid and the murders and the plot and of the case. Right. And his story is in there as well. You know, his personal story is, exactly. is woven into it. Right. So for our viewers, I'm going to ask you to talk to teenagers. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> we, we're elders. Uh, yes. We're both you know, past 70. Yes. And <laughs> so. they've had just recently, you know, in the last year or so, they did a survey in Chicago in the high schools and nobody knew who Fred Hampton was. Right, in the same city. Yes. Okay, yes. so let's Talk go about from... Alone the rest of the country. So let's give the story of Fred well, Hampton. Well, Fred was a teenager himself when he started in the Panthers. And uh, uh, Bobby Rush was the one who's now a congressman mm -hmm. uh, who and who beat Barack Obama in an election for Congress, I think, in 1990 or 2002, something like that, okay. by 30 points. Okay. And um, but but he was it got involved with Huey and Bobby out here through SNCC and Stokely Carmichael, and he had met Fred. And so when they said, "Well, let's start a chapter in Chicago," as Fred was the first one he called. Fred was an activist in Maywood, which is a suburb of Chicago, had a substantial black population. In high school, he was uh, uh, the head of the youth branch of the NAACP in the western suburbs, and he led demonstrations you know there was one about uh, the, there was no swimming pool where the black kids could go and they went to the city council and the cops wouldn't let everybody in and there was a uh, you know a little bit of a dust up and some tear gas that got into the city council chambers and so he was arrested that was the first case he had and that was my first case too was oh, that really? trial yes oh, my. which was in the beginning of 69 and then, you know, it, things just went on from there at, at a tremendous pace. And the, the, um, by, the, by the time, by the middle of 1969, there had been a couple of raids of the office that the Panthers had opened in, in the 